We came up with this about a year and a half ago, and this was because everybody kept on referring to our music as Disney metal. So we thought we owed it to them and to the rest of the world. A one shot like this requires choreography, it requires a set that is well designed and well planned. We ended up finding a nice, big, amazing looking room at the Jerusalem Theatre. It's just a huge studio with black walls and wooden floor and an amazingly looking grand piano. We wanted the set to look like a bit like a dark circus kind of vibe. I used some help from one of Hellscore's member, Tamir Luski. He helped me kind of 3D the thing and started playing around with moving figurines around. And next step was writing the script and rehearsing it. First only with the band and then move into a bigger studio and practice it with the choir and with the videographer and even with some production crew. One, two, three, and... Production day started at like 5 a.m. or <laughs> very early in the morning. We got there at 11 o'clock after picking up equipment, uh, driving people around, and it was a huge crew. They were all doing an amazing job. It was incredible to witness. The video was filmed by Lav Levy, and we tried to direct it together, but <laughs> it's kind of challenging when you're the videographer and the producer and the director, and it's also quite challenging to be the uh, fabulous Disney princess who also has to direct. <laughs> we had a bubbles machine, we had a smokes machine, we had a fan. My number one metal fan. Four stages for the choir and two stages for the drums. Lian Jaharalfi, who did the amazing lighting. My father uh, was a light assistant. We had Noi Kai Shelly Soikis as a set manager. We had my sister, Shani Groman, uh, leading the art and design of the set. The amazing Dana, I alone made my hair and makeup, and it took a while. The dog had the most important uh, role in the set, being a set dog. We had one girl, Anna, who was in charge of picking up my items of clothing <laughs> that I shed off <laughs> of me during the video. The entire family was on set. My mom wanted to be included too, so she provided the catering. Thank you, mom. We were actually ready on set at eight. We had two hours to rehearse with the actual lighting and setup and design and everything. And then we actually started recording at 10. And everybody was so cooperative and amazing and they held on and did an amazing job until the very last moment. The dress had to have an evolution of itself. It started working with the designer, Noi Soikis. It started very mysterious with like a hooded transparent cape, then moved on to being this classical Disney princess dress, but with a little bit of an edge, like with the spikes and stuff, because she's metal. And then it lights up. Now this was very funny because my brother, who was there, he had to light my dress up and he had to really get closer to it so it actually functions. The moment where it lights up, I turn around and you would think it's because, oh my god, I'm a Disney princess, I have to turn around dramatically, but actually it was just so my brother can reach. <laughs> uh, so they light up and then of course the grand reveal of Frozen, we had to include it, so yeah, that's four transitions in three and a half minutes for the dress alone. We ended up having 11 full takes 
but then tons of like half takes where you know either I fell down at some point or uh, the light was not quite you know perfect you know someone hit the wrong note or Lahav fell down at some point yeah this was a uh, quite a I don't know, funny or torture to watch when going through the footage? <laughs> Combination between funny and torture. It's not perfect. And I think we were not aiming for perfect here. So when we see little imperfections, it actually adds to the authenticity and the magic of the whole thing. I, I personally really like it. Then, once we had the take, Lahav took it into his editing software. This is a nice trivia hint. During the Pocahontas song, in this perfect take that we really loved, the light for some reason changes into blue, but it was supposed to stay green throughout the entire section. So Love made it so it stays green. I don't know how you did it. It's quite amazing. So, you know, things like, things like that, like little adjustments, and there are quite a lot of those <laughs> little tweaks. I think my favorite moment of the video when all the lights are turned off and all the fairy lights lit up. That's like, <gasps> every time I see it, it's like, <gasps> The video has been receiving amazing comments, um, overwhelmingly amazing comments. Uh, we have some reaction videos, we have some very loving and enthusiastic reactions from a lot of people, but especially from people who I look up to, producers and artists that I admire, and industry people that I look up to. So it's really heartwarming and I am very proud of it. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and spread the word. A special thanks goes out to our Patreon supporters. And if you wish to have more Skardust in your life, you're welcome to join our wonderful community on Patreon. Where you can get cool exclusive content and support us so we can do more. Oh.